What's going on, everybody? I'm Jabby Kowe, joined by Chara Kirk. What's up? Continuing on with Star Wars Visions Season 2, Episode 3, the most popular thing on YouTube. Our first reaction got so many views, I can't even keep up with it. Really? So many comments. I'm quite passionate about continuing forward with this just because the first two episodes moved me, and I found them to be quite inspiring, especially the one set in Styreland. So um, <laughs> let's check this out, Star Wars Episode 3, In the Stars. Thanks so much for joining us. If you're watching this on YouTube, you are seeing a cut down version of our reaction because we can only show you a limited amount of picture in picture. But if you want to watch the whole thing with us, no cuts, no interruptions, head over to our Patreon page, patreon.com slash jabbykoi, or become a member of this channel where you'll get access to the full uncut reaction, but you'll need your own Disney Plus subscription so you can open up each episode and an adjacent window to our reaction. We'll give you a three, two, one countdown and it'll be like you're watching with two of your favorite Star Wars fans from the internet. Woo! Now, if you're watching this on Patreon or memberships already, thanks so much for supporting us here. If you're watching this on YouTube, hit the subscribe button, please. Bell icon, all notifications, and pretty please vote this up. May the fourth be with you. This is cute. It's got that uh, Wallace and Gromit kind of Yeah, that stop motion feel. Don't eat the mushrooms! Maybe just lick it a little, I don't know. Whatever floats your boat. They certainly look like magical mushrooms. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh. No, 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 no. Why? Uh oh. Is this legit stop motion, you think? Yeah. Why wouldn't it be? I don't know. What do I know? I mean, anything can be simulated. It looks. It looks really good. Yeah, it looks like it would be. Both hands! Oh. Silly child. Uh, Papa's you know like, nothing. Papa, yeah, Papa's like, dude, what's wrong with you? I almost had it. No, sister. Oh. He almost had you. Sister, not a dad. You can't keep painting. We need that water to survive. I'm not thirsty. Aw. Art over life. This is all we have left. And you are wasting it. No, this is important. It's from Mama Stone. <sighs> Aw. Wow. Oh. Mom used to do it like this. I know. Aww. Aww. We were happy then. Until they came. Oh, wow. They took our water. Oh my god. The music as well. Mom couldn't let it happen. She hit us to keep us safe. God damn it, America. <laughs> but she had to do it. Mom was very strong. Stronger than them. Oh wow. No one is stronger than them. Mom became a star. Oh. That is sad. Yeah. Everybody did. Except for us. If she had not fought, she would still be here. Look. She cannot see us anymore. But we're not alone. Huh? We are. Yo, this is depressing. Yeah! <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Golly. Sure you aren't thirsty? Come on, drink my share. We don't have more clean water. I will get more. From where? It shouldn't be a problem as long as they don't see me. I dropped the tissues. I'm coming, too. No, you are staying here. Wait! Uh, I, I can fight them. I'm strong enough now. No. Give me the ore. No! I'm going to beat them all. Huh. We do what we always do. I get enough water to survive, and you stay hidden right here. Oh, she's Toad's going to do something very reckless, isn't she? 
You're dealing with a uh, a classic kind of dynamic here. You know, one yeah. person wants to fight, one person's just aiming to survive. But it's very easy to understand both perspectives. Yeah. Quickly! Oh, Mario Sunshine. How about that? Uh oh. Oh, crap. Oh, man, really? <laughs> oh. Now it's time to fight. Oh. Yeah, take that, huh? Oh, stupid. Why can't you do it? You're dead. Oh, no, 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 no. Now they know where you come from. Oh. Use the force! Oh, that works too. I told you I could beat them. <laughs> All right. Jump! Woo! I am so lucky that they have terrible aim. Quickly! The gate is closing! Let's get out of here. I could not survive in this world. We have to go back. Believe me, we can beat them. What? No. no. We have what we need. I'm sorry, Gordon. What are you thinking? What? What is she thinking? I can't root for this. I don't know what she's thinking. <laughs> no, because she just truly believes that she has the power. I guess her sister's gonna demonstrate it now. What do you think you are doing? This is Sourland! This planet resources belong to the Empire. Throw her. What? <gasps> She's a child. Well, you've gotta be kidding me, dude. No. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. the force someone has the force please am i watching a pixar movie right now what the hell why why are they doing this come no on. Oh, there we yes go. come on now there we go Oh, they both are force sensitive? I didn't know they're young. They they do, they do. I mean obviously we saw the older sister, but Oh wow. Okay. In the drawings, the younger sister had it a little bit. Well damn. Why didn't you say that earlier? <laughs> I'd love to see the behind the scenes of this. Yeah. Look! Oh, Jesus Christ. I cannot handle this. <laughs> I need to drink some water. <laughs> Too early for this. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Mom, I knew she was there. She looks so happy and bright. You were right. We will never be alone. We gotta wrap this up. I cannot with this <laughs> shit. Okay. I 
dropped the tissues on the floor. Oh, I was trying to reach for them. Hold on, I'm gonna get the tissues. I loved it. I love a good cry. But like, goddamn, oh, I was not expecting that. And, and do you know why I think there's a couple things? Well, maybe like three, three ingredients for the tears. Uh, ingredient number one, that it's about Achara and Belinda. Is that, <laughs> is that the idea? No, I mean, they, obviously, because I understand that dynamic very deeply, because I am an older sister, that would literally, I would take on the world for my little sister, for sure. Especially when we were kids, I would fight all the bullies for her. Setting that aside, I think it's because of the simplicity of the animation style. And I was just thinking about how I did not fight for my brother. We <laughs> going out trick-or-treating on Halloween, and we were going house to house. And uh, we, stopped, we knocked on one door. There was a woman inside who was clearly on, like, some kind of cocaine or something, because she was oh. dancing. She just looked insane. Okay. The way, like looking back on it and we're, like thinking about my flashback, she looked insane. And so we said trick or treat. She couldn't quite hear us, so we knocked again, and she looked at us like a monster. Oh my god! And I'm god. like this, and I ran. <laughs> you didn't like grab your brother's No, hand I ran, and I'm like useless. My dad was like, "What the hell? Why'd you leave him behind?" <laughs> I'm like, "I don't know why he didn't run." <laughs> that shit was scary. And Greg like was coming like, like five, six years old with a little trick or treat bag. I'm like you, you gotta survive. <laughs> you gotta survive on your own. You're useless. The simplicity of the animation just kind of. I I don't know, it, it, it makes you feel the core of the emotions because I started getting really emotional during the part where she did the painting on the on the wall and it was kind of like a cave painting but like a magical cave painting and like the voice acting was so good because the young girl just sounded so innocent and there's something just so optimistic and uplifting about her belief that you know she has this power and that they will prevail and that they will win her mom is there and, and there was just something really beautiful at the end as well with like was confirming that we're not alone yeah, i think yeah. that's what we all want to know is like we're not alone it was very nicely done i didn't want to like it if i'm being totally Why? honest like in the first five minutes i'm like this needs to go away faster but then like it, it had this thing where it won me over it's, oh, and yeah. also the music as well. That song that yeah. do, 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 do. And, and then as soon as that came back again at the end, I was like, it's a wrap. I'm done. The music, the animation, the story, the relationship, the magic. I'm like, it's... It had that Pixar effect, though, because it was setting up such a sad story. I thought for a, si a split second that the sister was going to die. I knew she had to survive. I was able to suspend my disbelief just because they were setting up something so dark. I didn't actually see what you saw with the young girl having being force sensitive. So I thought she just threw herself into the situation very naively and was going to get killed. And her sister was going to, I don't know, rage out. I don't know. I, I didn't know what to expect. But then they did that Toy Story 3 thing where, you know, the claw shows up. If you haven't seen Toy Story 3, then I just ruined it for you. I liked how it all kind of coalesced, how it came together at the end. I, I thought it was beautifully done. The animation also, uh, oh. also was like quite, quite beautiful. It's like, so delightful. I, I'm not like one to run out and go watch something that's stop motion. Yeah. But I thought that this one was done quite nicely in a way that was you know, just very pleasing to watch. And they actually smoothed it out towards the end when they were underwater. I was wondering how they pulled that off. I wonder if it was a mixture of CGI and stop motion or if it was completely stop Maybe. motion. Maybe, yeah. I mean, and and also just like the, the way that they're able to show these characters emoting. It is just so cute. There's something like that really touches your heart with yeah. this type of animation. And it might be just because it's not like super perfect. Do you know what I mean? There's something charming about that. For the style, I thought I thought it was damn near perfect. Honestly, like I no, thought. No, but I mean, like comparing it to other types of animation, there's a kind of like stutteriness to it. That's just part of stop motion. Exactly, yeah. and it's charming. That is this exact reason that I don't run out and watch stop motion animation. You know what I mean? Um, but this one worked for me. The interesting thing about this also from a, a larger big picture perspective is I really tried to think about it while watching it and I couldn't think of too many instances where you saw low-level people getting affected by 
the Empire. You were de you were generally dealing with like higher level people, like the Jedi's or Princess Leia. I mean, you did see a, a world get blown up, so there's that. But generally speaking, because Leia tried to save her people, and then the Empire blew up a planet, and that's right. when that's when Obi Wan was like, "I just heard the, the cries of a thousand people, or something like that." Whatever he said. Yeah. Outside of that, that's very aloof. You don't really see it on the ground level, right? That's what intrigued me about stuff like uh, the Batman with, you know, the Batman stories is that you really saw the nitty gritty of the lower level stuff. All that to say, with these short films, it allows you the opportunity to explore that, where you're seeing these people who are on the lower level, how they're affected by the Empire. I mean, you're ex you're getting this in the shows as well, like just in general. Like Andor. Yes, you're getting to explore what you wouldn't otherwise. And so I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah, too. and you get to see like different types of people who we don't normally see. You yeah, know? exactly. So, anyways, thanks so much for hanging out. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Let us know if you cried in the comments below. I'm Jabby Koei. This is... I'm not okay. Achara. Peace out.